Hey guys, Sean of American Window Concepts, and today let's talk about the five most popular window styles for 2023. First, it's going to be the tried and true sliding style windows. Sliding style windows are the horizontal sliding windows you guys see so often. These continue to be the most popular for customers. Why? Because, well, they are going to offer the slimmest possible frames. They are going to require the least amount of maintenance, which is because they're rollers on a sliding track. So that's gonna be beneficial. The people who are buying these style of windows usually already have this style of window. So most houses that I see usually have sliding window systems. Usually, cost effectiveness comes into play whenever you're doing a sliding window. Sliding windows are gonna cost probably the least because they're the easiest to develop, they're the easiest to maintain, they're the easiest to build. And when installed properly, they're wonderful. Number two is gonna be the double hung window. If you go back to 20s, 30s, 40s, even in the 50s, you're gonna see that they had double hung windows or what was once double hung windows. Now they have them painted tight and only the bottom works, maybe, if you're lucky, right? So people who already have double hung style of windows or single hung wood style of windows, guess what? The best option is gonna be a double hung window in its place. It doesn't mean that that's the only opportunity to have a double hung. Some people who have a sliding window system maybe wants a double hung next to a double hung. Just depends, it depends on what you really want, what you want for the house, how do you want it to look? That's all, so double hungs are a very, very cool option. The cool thing about a double hung window is they can tilt in for cleaning. So if you live maybe in a condo, second story, or you have upstairs windows in a two-story, three-story house, and you're like, how am I gonna clean these windows? Well, you can do double hung window systems, and they tilt in for cleaning. It's the coolest thing. Number three is going to be a casement window system. Now, following a double hung window, in those homes, they would usually have one window per room with a 36 inch width and a 42 inch height, which is typical for those style homes. You cannot meet egress and I've made uh, videos on egress codes. So go back and watch that if you wanna know what egress is. When you're, cha when you're using a double hung window to replace another double hung window in a bedroom, most times you're not gonna be able to meet egress codes. What do you do to combat that? Easy, get a casement window and put it in its place. Once you do that, you have the full access of that opening of the 36 by 42, minus a few inches on each side, whatever. But you're going to get your egress code met with no problem. The other cool thing about casement windows, and I've made videos on this too, is the ability to have great airflow. They act like a sail. When that window opens even a little bit, you can feel the air coming straight into the house. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. The other thing about casement windows is how tight they lock. The compression seal on the outside, they're just very quiet. And when you have the lock engaged, it is a fortress. Wonderful, wonderful window systems. Number four is going to be a single hung window system. So just like a double hung window, these slide up and down vertically. The thing about a single hung window is that only the bottom lift up. Now, you ask why would you do a single hung if you have the option to do a double hung? Sometimes it's if it's over a sink, a counter, and you're trying to lift up and reach the top sash, it's almost impossible. You have to get up on top of the counter and bring her down. Uh, the other thing is maybe you don't want the full screen on the outside. Maybe you don't really want to operate the top. And there's no problem with that. There's a single hung out there for you. And a single hung, again, is bottom only. So a screen would be on the bottom half of the window. The cool thing about this single hung window system, at least for Anlin, is that they also will tilt in for cleaning. The bottom only, not the top, because the top doesn't move, right? So you'd have to go outside and clean the window on the top from the outside. That's the only bummer. Last but not least, number five is gonna be awning windows. So like a casement window that is gonna open out, basically the whole leaf of the window is gonna open out, an awning is different in that it opens from the bottom. The problem is that its projection is only gonna be about 16 to 18 inches complete. Why? Because they have an X hinge. And once that X hinge is fully extended, that's all you got. And you can only have so much 
before it's completely extended and that's that's it. What's cool about an awning? Great airflow. An awning is going to be wider than it is tall. So if you wanted to take out a sliding window and then like you look and I wanna do all casements in my house, what am I gonna do for my bathroom windows that are up higher, wide, but not so tall? Easy, awning window system. If you're doing casement windows throughout the entire house and you want to do the bathroom window as well, but you're like, hey man, I wanna keep the same style of frame, awning window and you're in the good. Okay guys, hopefully this video helps. If you have any other questions about different style of windows, definitely put them in the comment section. I'm happy to help. Make it a great year. 2023 is gonna be a great one. Talk soon. Hey guys, if you live in the Ventura or Long Beach area and are interested in a free in-home estimate, go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com and we'll reach back out to you as soon as possible. If you guys find this information valuable and you wanna to continue to learn more about windows and doors, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.